Hey family, so I'm going to show you guys what the girls and I have been up to. You know, since they've been out of school, we've been trying a bunch of different experiments and, you know, just things just to keep them busy. But you know what we started seeing in the garden was a lot of earwigs. Now, if you don't know what an earwig is, most people call them pincher bugs. But I uh, started realizing they were eating a lot of our plants, especially my hibiscus. So we went in, we went online, we started looking up ways to make traps for them. The girls have a thing about making traps for bugs. So we found the most natural way was to use cooking oil. Anything as uh, canola oil or olive oil, and we decided to use canola oil. We decided that this was the most, um, not just economical, but you know, it was harmless on our garden. So I took some water bottles, I took three of them, I cut them in half, I left the cap on the end of, you know, the open side, um, and we filled them with canola oil and we buried them partly in the ground, leaving a little bit of the lip out on the top. And you know what? It worked. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, but you know what? It really worked. So I'm going to show you guys what the results were. So this was the girl's first attempt at building a trap <laughs> to catch the earwigs. Um, of course, it's useless, but it's adorable. It's kind of like a little fort. I pulled this one out already, but this one actually had the most earwigs in it. And it's right here under one of my little hibiscus. Had another one back over there by the butterfly bush. Had one here in the ground that the squirrels actually pulled up. So I emptied that one already. Had one down in there. I found a lot of earwigs on the canna over here. I also had one down under here. So I left this one here in the ground to show you guys how it is. This one's a little bit raised, but this is pretty much how we did it and we stuck them in the ground. This one hasn't um, that many in there. There's only about five of them. So I'm gonna leave that one there in the ground. I might move it to another location, but let me show you what the other ones did. Now I'm gonna show you the mother load. Look at that, that is disgusting Ew. look at all of that and that is just canola oil how gross so this is just two of them I also have the other ones are down here by my clippings and they're pretty full too I mean, that is really disgusting. So you know what? Just because we can, we're gonna see if we can pour these guys out to show you guys how many are in here. All right, let's start with this one because it's pretty full. So, uh, it looks like a potato bug is in there too. Yeah. Oh, gross. Look how disgusting. Yeah. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Oh, that is so disgusting. Look at that. Ew. And it smells so bad. Yes, it does. Yuck. So if you guys don't think this works, trust me, it works. That is so disgusting. And like I said, there's four more containers to do. <laughs> that so bad. So easy way to get earwigs out of your garden, canola oil.